right, Herb. What's up, man? All right. So you had sent me a text about kind of warming up. So just kind of take your time warming up. Always hit the bar. I gave you a little progression scheme down here. So kind of refer to that going forward. You can use that for your squat too as well. All right. So think of the warm-ups as it's a technique practice, okay? So the cues and the things I'm going to give you feedback on are the things I need you to pay attention to, okay? So first thing I want to say is I think the rack height is perfect, all right? A lot of people set this too high or too low. The first error that I see is you're pressing the bar. Watch how it goes straight up and then down. Okay, so bar goes straight up and then it goes down. All right, you can see how the body is kind of wobbling around a lot. So what we want to do is we want to pull the bar to the front of the J-hooks. Okay, so you're going to pull down on the bar. And then before you unrack it, you're going to get your body tight. So you're going to get your chest high, your feet wide, and you're going to apply pressure into the bar downwards. Okay. Now... I'm going to send you this article that I wrote. I need you to read it. Okay, it explains how to do the bench press, how to unrack it properly. Um, read it over. Okay. That's not the right way to do it. It should move right off the front of the J-hooks. Um, we'll just kind of let this play out. It's a short video. So you pull the bar down to the front of the J-hooks. And then you're going to create tension downwards with the lats. While creating tension, it should glide off of the J-hooks. Okay, we'll see that one more time. <clears throat> it should just glide right off the J-hooks. Okay? So, I'll send that to you. Read it over. I'd like to have a discussion about it, okay? So, essentially, we just want to get the body as tight as possible. All right? So notice how you're only getting tight on the way up. So when you go to push, see this like pulse of energy? I need you to get really, really tight before you go down. All right. You don't want to rely on just getting tight when you need to. So get tight on the way down. And by tight, I mean you're going to push into the ground, drive the knees up, get the chest up. What I also want you to do is I want you to pause in between each rep. So notice how you're going right into the next rep, right into the next rep. Now on your press, this is why I don't want you to go right into your next rep. So watch your shoulder position and watch as you lock out. You lose all of the shoulder tightness that we're looking for. So. I want you to pause, set the chest, set the feet, set the breath, and go. You want to perform each rep as if you're doing a one rep max for each of the reps, okay? All right, so just to recap, I need you to clean up the unrack procedure. Read that article I'm going to send you, okay? I want you to get tight before you start each rep. And I need your pause in between each rep. All right, man, keep kicking butt. Uh, I want some feedback on the feedback I gave you. I want to make sure that you understand what I'm putting out there. And uh, keep being awesome, okay?